What's up guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Murtha Siraj, wedding and portrait photographer based out of Houston. And in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite lighting pattern, the Rembrandt lighting. This lighting pattern is named after its famous creator, Rembrandt Van Rijn, master painter who perfected this lighting technique in the 1600s. I mean, I remember when I started learning portrait photography techniques, I was thinking, man, this is a tough lighting pattern to create. But when I implemented the basics, I realized how easily it can be created with just one light. I love it because it makes everyone look flattering, any age, any body type. It defines the shape, it gives it depth and dimension, and it's really considered timeless lighting method. In the most simplest terms, half the face is lit and half the face is in shadow, leaving just a small inverted triangle on the shadow side. So to demonstrate the lighting method, I took the softbox off this light so that you can easily read which side of my face is illuminated and how much of my face is in the shadow. This particular lighting technique is known as split lighting and it has its place in photography. Subjects look mysterious and give them drama and edginess. But right now we're talking about Rembrandt lighting. So let me show you, there's two ways that you can use this light in its position as it is and just turn the subject to create that Rembrandt light. I'm just gonna turn my face, turn it this way and maybe tilt my head down a little bit and now you can clearly see triangle on the shadow side of my face. Turn your face into the light a little too much, you lose the triangle and you create a different lighting technique. This is what's known as loop light. The light is looping around the shadow side you'll see there's a triangle now instead of under the eye it's under the nose this is loop lighting okay i've moved the light source up higher and i turn my face just a little and it creates that Rembrandt light so there you go that's how easy this is you just need to raise the position of your light higher and angle it down so the angle of light as it comes down it creates that angle of shadow right underneath that cheekbone. Guys, there's no such thing as failing to create Rembrandt light. I mean, it could just be a variation, and that variation, in your opinion, might look really good. Photography is an art form. It is subjective. You can create what you feel most strongly towards. You might actually end up creating something totally cool in doing so. So keep trying and keep practicing. I hope these tips help you on your next photo shoot. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Click on the bell icon to get notified on my next videos. And of course, click on that subscribe button. I'm Murtaza Siraj. Thanks for watching.